Coley, get in the car. You're being charged with murder in the first degree. Chicago, the whole world is watching us right now. If Coley Styles were white, would we be having this same discussion? Wow, that is a scene from Canal Street. It's the new Chicago-based film that's currently in theaters. We've got director and co-writer Ryan Lamar here to chat more. Hello and good morning. How you doing? First of all, I'm doing great. I got to say congratulations. Thank you. Thank that's you. That's a big deal to actually get your pen, your film in the movie theaters. This is an independent film as well. This is independent. It's all the way independent. Oh, my gosh. I actually got a chance to see the movie. It was really exciting just to see our city, to see some people that I know in the movie. We'll talk about that in a second, but let's talk about you. You're a Columbia College grad. You're from the South Side. How did you get here to this point? God. Oh, <laughs> I love it. God, you, you know what I mean? I, I tell everybody never to give up. Mm -hmm. You know, um, being an independent filmmaker, being from Chicago, you know, growing up, you know, in a city that, you know, right now, you know, has some kind of dark cloud on it. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I really um, wanted to just come out of that. We shot, we shot, I think we shine some good light on Chicago, too, as well. Mm -hmm. you, you agree? I do agree. I do agree. Let's talk about the film. You had a cast of over 60 actors mm -hmm. that was uh, in the movie. And one thing that I was shocked to see, there were so many familiar faces, actors that we've been watching for decades mm -hmm. on the, in the movie. How'd you, get, how'd you pull that off? You know what? I, always, I get that question asked a lot. And, I mean, I just asked. You uh -huh. know, I always tell people, if you have, you know, the confidence and the drive and you mm. can sell yourself, a lot of these actors will work with you. you That's know? awesome. So we just asked. They said yes, and That's, they came out. Yeah. And we shot this in under 16 and a half days. Really? Yeah, so we had to get them in and out so they can get back to the, you know, to yeah. their shows. Well, no, I think, but I think that's so inspiring because, like, you may not have the connections when you're starting off, especially mm -hmm. when we're talking the entertainment industry, and everybody mm -hmm. feels like they have to leave Chicago in order to make it. And you're showing, while you did leave for some time, you're actually showing that you can do things right here. You could be in Hollywood yeah. right here in the city. Yeah, Chicago is such a beautiful city. We don't see it enough. And, you know, as a, as a kid growing up, wanting to be a filmmaker, that dream of getting that script, bringing a project back to Chicago and yeah. showcasing Chicago is a dream come true. Let's tell the people at home a little bit more about the plot. So the story is fiction, mm -hmm. but uh, where did it come from? Well, you know what? Um, growing up in Chicago, being inspired and influenced um, by a lot of different things that were going on. We wrote the script in 2005. Mm -hmm. so, so, you know, even though it's, you know, it seems like it's relevant, you know, we were creating things that were happening in 2005. Yeah. You know, um, so I, I was able to uh, pull from, you know, not only being from the south side of Chicago, but also knowing people in the suburbs and just yeah. kind of putting that all together. And know. so a little bit about the plot. Yep. It's following two friends. Mm -hmm. One of them gets murdered. Yep. Yep. Um, and, you know, the friend is, you know, the last person that's seen with him. He gets accused of that murder. His father, played by Michael T. Williamson, is a lawyer, you know, so he takes the case mm -hmm. and he goes up against a prosecutor, played by Makai Pfeiffer. So it becomes this, this, this really big case, not only in the city of Chicago, but also in the court of public opinion. Mm -hmm. And that's why you see all the social media people like Charlemagne the Guy, Angela Yee, Ricky Smiley, you know, Kendra G, Man Cow. Yeah, there's Kendra G right there, our friend of the show. She's over at the WGCI Morning Show. We're going to talk to her in just a little bit. Um, but media plays a big role mm -hmm. in the film. And you guys were showing how, like you said, they were in the court of public opinion and yeah. how the media plays a role in that. What was the purpose for doing that? Well, you know, it's, it's 2019. And, you know, we get our news, you know, from our cell phones, from social media. You know, we're so quick to judge based off of, you know, what we're seeing on our phones. And we don't really watch the news anymore the way that we used to. Mm -hmm. So if I was going to do a project, about you know a, a trial in this century, you have to use social media. Yeah, and I felt like relevant. you were challenging our quick to judge culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because we are so quick to judge without checking out the facts, mm -hmm. you know. And then you believe the public opinion before you look. Well, did the person actually do it? And before you can even get to trial, you're already guilty. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And how do you how do you expect this film to improve race relations? You know, we created this project um, not only uh, to approve, you know, improve uh, race relations, but also to uplift people's faith. Mm. See, the biggest thing for us was you have to create that mirror so people can be able to look at themselves in the mirror. And if you want to be a part of change, you have to really be able to have that conversation. Yeah. You know, and so, you know, when you, people leave the theater, 
they're ready to have conversations. How do you change things if you aren't willing to talk about it? I gotta say you, I'm inspired by you. Thank inspired you. Inspired by your story and just the, the work ethic and the fact that this has been, what, like 15 years in the making? Yes, huh? almost yes, 15 years yeah, in the making. almost, almost. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you very it's much. Exciting. You guys, I saw the movie. You certainly have to check it out. You gotta support Chicago's own. Yeah. It's called Canal Street and it's currently playing in theaters.